GDF gets new players, juvenile obesity on the rise, and OPEC courts Guyana. I'm Rico Pulford, and this is Uncut News. Do you see news happening? Send us a tip on WhatsApp at 592-659-6151. The GDF Coast Guard and Air Corps are getting several new used and purpose-built patrol aircraft and ships by next month. The first, a Beechcraft King Air 350, which was confiscated from suspected traffickers in 2017. Demerara Waves said that the King Air 350 was sent to the US in 2021, where it was refurbished at a cost of anywhere from $2 million to $7 million, while they noted that the cost of a new plane is $9 million US dollars. The Beechcraft will provide response and full aerial patrol of Ghana's exclusive economic zone and border areas. Meanwhile, the government has also purchased two Dornier 228 planes from Hindustani Aeronautics Limited in India for US $8 million each. Negotiations with India are said to be still underway for financing to acquire those two 19-seater planes to move troops and equipment in the interior. The Coast Guard is also expected to acquire another Bell 412 EPI helicopter for $9 million US million in another week. Along with the aircraft, the US $11.5 million offshore patrol vessel being built by American company Metal Shock is due to arrive in Ghana next month. In 2021, the government made the announcement that it was buying the vessel, even though they have yet to answer why the company was even chosen in the first place, what was the criteria for this, or even the specifications of the vessel, only that it was purpose-built and she couldn't say anything else due to security concerns. But interestingly enough, a simple Google search will find that such information has been public knowledge for quite some time, as it was published by naval industry publication Naval Today in August of 2022, and it even includes a quote from an executive of Metal Shock. Interestingly enough, this was only two months after the same publication announced that the United States was sending maritime combat vessels to Ukraine as part of a 450 million US dollars security assistance package. Six metal shock military vessels were part of the package. So maybe that was the criteria. Opposition parliamentarian Ganesh Mahipal has submitted a motion calling for commission of inquiry into the deadly fire at Mardia, as well as for the construction of a monument at the site. The motion also calls for the place to be declared a historical memorial, site, and gazetted under the National Trust for Maintenance and Upkeep. The Director of Public Prosecutions has yet to advise the Ghana Police Force on the case against Minister of Local Government Nigel Darmlaw. The child that made the complaint still remains in protective custody. Protests calling for justice for the girl have spread to New York with Guyanese picketing the Ghana Consulate Office in Manhattan. In Ghana, protests continue outside of the office of the president, with the main opposition and civil society groups joining in. Harman and Ramjatan have received a final warning from the Integrity Commission and several other senior public officials to submit declarations by July the 31st or face fines and possible jail terms. The notice also listed several former and current MPs who are in jeopardy of fines and jail terms, but no government MP is currently on the list. Attention truck owners, between potholes, bad drivers, and high fuel prices, you've got 99 problems to deal with. But with Powered Automotive, your engine ain't one. That's because they stock high-quality parts and spares you need at prices you can't beat. Visit them at Lot 491 EE -E Eccles, or call or WhatsApp them at telephone number 6970171. Save big on truck parts at Powered Automotive, the number one heavy-duty truck parts store in Ghana. Tired of waiting on hold, tracking down a delivery driver, or carrying cash for your food orders? GT Eat is here to make your life easier. Ghana's first cashless food ordering and delivery app. Choose from Georgetown's top restaurants, pay securely with your card, and get your food delivered right to your doorstep. With the convenience of being able to order from your phone and the added feature of tracking your order, GT Eats is the ultimate solution for all your food needs. Download the app on Apple and Android stores and start ordering the easy way today. More children nationwide are presenting with obesity due to unhealthy eating habits, but with parental monitoring and dieting aided by nutritionists, this can be prevented. Or if you stop eating fast food and get back to the food we always used to eat prior to KFC and Burger King coming here. But anyway, 
The Georgetown Public Hospital is currently open for visits by persons who want to engage nutritionists, among other doctors. Bibi Shabika Hartat, the mother of two children who died in a fire in Belmont, Mahaika, is waiting for the Guyana Fire Service report to dispel the misconception that her children were playing with matches. She denied the accusations of being a careless mother and hopes the official findings will put an end to the rumor. On Saturday, Canu seized approximately 10 kilograms of cannabis worth $3 million at Tabatinga Letham in Region 9, resulting in the arrest of the homeowner of the home in which it was found in, Lorelei Nadine Jeffries. An investigation is ongoing. 19-year-old Mario Adams died in a car crash on the Essequibo coast over the weekend. The driver lost control of the vehicle, crashing into a car wash and a utility pole before the car burst into flames. Three other occupants were in the vehicle at the time of the accident, with one fleeing the scene. The driver was pronounced dead at the hospital, whilst the two other occupants were admitted to the hospital with several serious injuries. The Guyana police force is searching for an individual who allegedly bought stolen diamonds from two Canu officers. According to the police, the Surinamese national was detained by the two Kanu ranks, Anik Hosanna and Jamin Goddard, for an illegal firearm. But at some point, Goddard swallowed two of the diamonds, which the police later forced him to excrete from his body, whilst Hosanna admitted to selling his loot to another individual whom the police are currently seeking. Both Hosanna and Sparkle BT are currently in police custody. Now for today's oil update. OPEC is seeking to bring Guyana, the world's fastest growing oil producer, into the cartel. But so far our government has declined. And if it did join, we would be OPEC's first new member in five years, and we would also be the smallest nation in the bloc by population. Ghana aims to boost the oil production of our nation by 1 million barrels a day by 2028, the equivalent to Saudi Arabia's planned increase in that same period of time. However, Jagdio said joining OPEC would risk the nation becoming beholden to Saudi Arabia and other members who have worked together to curb global supplies and prop up prices. Robbery season might be over, but the streets are still mean. That's why you need to get security for your home or business with Sheriff Security. Sheriff Security has well-trained guards, armed and unarmed patrol, marine patrol, canine services. These people even got drones. Why? Because your security is their highest priority. You've seen the rest. Now hire the best. Hire Sheriff Security Service today. Now for our uncut news, feels poll question of the day. Every day we pose a question about current events in Ghana, the region, the diaspora, and how you vote at least once. On Friday, I asked, what sort of upgrades should we do to the education system? But before we get to that, I'm proud to announce our latest addition to the Noble Army, Richard Singh, who is supporting us at the reporter level, the highest level of monthly support we've received so far. So thank you, Richard Singh. And also a special thank you to David Griffith, Dion Nascimento, Project Zero, and Dimitri V. I appreciate you all. And if you're watching at home and you'd like to support our movement, just hit the link in the video description. Midnight says, All upgrades are unnecessary if we can't feed our children in school and provide them with adequate textbooks. I agree. We do need to feed our kids. Meanwhile, Yogi Fresh says textbooks are a thing of the past. Get these kids a cheap tablet with internet access and they can learn anything for free. I mean, you do have a good point there. Now for tonight's question. The government says childhood obesity is on the rise. What should we do about it? I want you to think about that question. Tell us in the comments below. If your response is good enough, we just might feature it in our next episode. Anyway, that's all the time we have for tonight. And check us out tomorrow for another. Until then, I'm Rico Paul Ford saying goodnight, folks.